I'm getting my first venomous snake today. What do you guys think about that? We have the hard ones. Uh, at a surf shop um, in Hawaii. There it is. Why not take all of me? <laughs> oh, <ha. laughs> uh, down to Long Beach, California today, hanging by the bay, down by the, the bay, peninsula. where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, you ever see a whale, a polka dot tail? Down by the bay. <laughs> I'm getting my first venomous snake today. What do you guys think about that? No, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm gonna get a, a venomous snake today. What do you think about that? Okay, we already have a poisonous frog. I mean, toad. That's true. What kind? Better not be like able to kill a human. Hmm. So what are you saying about getting a venomous snake? I'm just saying it. Tower. Yep, just like that, bud. Uh, you're just saying it to see my reaction. Well, sure. What? Can you just be straight up with me? Yeah, I'm getting a venomous snake. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. I'm getting it today. No, where are you gonna get a snake today? Mm, somewhere down here in Southern California. Stop it. <laughs> are you just trying to see my reaction? I mean, yeah. Yeah, no, we agreed. No, we're not a snake. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> T already said okay. No. Yeah, she did. Huh, T? You think Daddy should get a venomous snake? You do? Are you sure? Let's see what mommy thinks. Are you just messing with me? Would I just mess with you? Yeah, definitely would. I don't think I would. Oh, definitely. You're getting a venomous snake, I'm getting a five dogs. Five dogs? Yep, five That's dogs. the deal? No. No, see, they said no. <laughs> What's the deal, T? No, no water. When you have a separate facility. Even then, no, just we agree, no venomous snakes. All right, now I'm done riding and sliding with the Lokes and Dogs, the LBC. I'm headed out to get my venomous snakey, whether Hillary likes it or not. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm about to go chilling with my homie and my friend out in Playa del Rey. You guys getting these Dub Shack references? Go get that snake. Now, I've been getting a lot of sun recently. You guys been noticing? I heard that COVID is afraid of sunlight and is afraid of vitamin D. So I've been stocking up on that stuff. I want to talk about the last video a little bit. Last us cuts going cut. I, I thought it maybe kind of sucked a little bit, and then some a lot of people went in the comments and were like, no, it didn't suck that bad actually. And but I'm kind of on the fence about it anyway. It was it was just a little all over the place. It was literally I wrote down my thoughts at like two in the morning. And it was just all over the place. There was no subject. So the the future Cusco and Cuts, I would like to still try and that try that style a little bit, where I'm kind of like writing down my thoughts, but I I, I want to hone in a little bit more and be a little bit more specific. And so if you guys have any topics or anything at all that you think you'd like to hear me talk about on a Cusco and Cut, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what it is, and I will do that. And then also. I'm going to be making some videos for other questions people have asked recently about uh, certain different snake topics and different stuff like that. But I would definitely love to hear what you guys want to hear about because I make videos fun for myself regardless, but I want you guys to enjoy them as well. And I do appreciate a lot of you that seem to be able to understand my crazy thoughts that come to my head at 2 in the morning. There were a good amount of you out there that were like, I totally get it, man. Totally get it. So I, I appreciate you guys, man. I appreciate you guys. But I'm going to focus on the road now because it's LA. It's not safe. So 
I made it to my buddy. Whoa. <laughs> so I finally made it to Playa del Rey here at my buddy Matt's house and got here actually a couple hours ago and he's been over there working. He didn't tell me I was going to come here and wait. But I guess it's karma since I've been making you guys wait to find out what kind of venomous snake I've been getting this whole time. Now it's my turn to sit and wait. You done yet? <laughs> Look at these big windows he's got right here. They're huge and they're bright and they're... It's just fantastic. I don't want to leave them. You can bring it to me. He's going to bring the snake to me. Look at that. That's what I get for waiting. <laughs> Are you guys ready? This is what you guys get for waiting. We get to see it in nice, big, bright SoCal Herps window light. <laughs> so while he's getting the snake, I want to talk about it. I did a video on Instagram, a collaboration with the uh, Noodle Fam, and she had organized a bunch of other people to pass snake, and I was the blooper because everybody else was passing venomous snakes. and. I had my indigos, which were, Matt's actually got a couple of indigos right here that are huge, bigger than my own, and we'll pull those out too so you can guys check them out. But um, I had hesitated to do the video with her because I, I, and I told her this too, I was like, oh, I'm just worried about like getting blowback from, from people. And I was like, oh, you know what? Then I, I reconsidered and I was like, I don't care. I'll, I'll, I'll be in the video too, it's cool. And then I did get some feedback from people and I was like, Pfft. I don't care anymore. I'm just tired, I'm tired of people like trying to find every little thing and reason why they can say somebody else is not as good as they are or they're doing something wrong based on their own personal I, I don't care about that stuff anymore I'm so sick to death of people using little things like that whatever it is that they don't agree with somebody else and as a reason to be like no 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 shut up I'm over it dude don't just ooh sorry Matt thanks there it is Matt do you want to you want to come down here? you don't have to there he is Matt Bernard and ladies and gentlemen <laughs> SoCal Herps I'm the type of guest that comes into your house and inconveniences you. That's stuff. Can you concur? I always concur. <laughs> just take my stuff, drink all my water. I've always wanted one of these snakes that I've just never gotten one. I've never had a friend nice enough like Matt to just be like, here, I want this snake to help you educate people with, right? Right? That's the idea. That was the idea. That was the Except idea. You did pay me 8000 for it. Oh, well. I want to tell him I got it for free. She's coming out to check me out. So this is what, your classic western hognose snake? Is that what's happening here? Yep, it's your wild type. Wild type, classic western hognose snake, ladies and gentlemen. A, uh, I mean, these guys are these guys are venomous, technically, correct? I mean, am I wrong? Don't die. I, I'll die? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I guess that's the case, like, if, if you were allergic to bees, I guess, and well, you- Well, yeah, if you're allergic to bees, you may get, like, a slight, Swelling in the spot you get bit or for you me, don't I, think it, that if you're allergic to bees There's a chance that you might need to go to the hospital EpiPen not anything like that. Oh, I've never seen a case like that You just see some really big swelling. Here, come in a little closer. It's hard to hear you back there oh. I know I'm kind of taking them all the real estate up here. It's your house. I should be giving you all the real estate I'm here for emotional support for Matt and his head on the shoulder. It's a classic sign <laughs> There she is guys first hog no snake I ever had so these guys are Technically venomous, although rear fang. probably probably yeah. yeah rear fang venomous. Anybody who keeps actual front fang venomous is probably like, God, this guy's an idiot. <laughs> but you know what? I don't deny it. But they do some really cool defensive techniques. That one of their things is is actually mimicking a rattlesnake. If you can tell the, the pattern, it's very similar to like a gopher snake, very similar to a rattlesnake. And it's my understanding these guys do eat a good amount of like frogs and, or and or they're. They'll eat almost anything. I have some that are in there eating quail, some eating chicks. But that rear fang comes ahead because the frogs as a defense will inflate themselves, yes? Exactly. And yeah, then so when they, use they, that to kind of they get to that rear fang and just deflate the frog. And look at that black belly. That's what a cool, cool. I'm gonna open up the aperture just a little bit, get a little more light on the situation. Yeah, so these guys, this isn't the variety, it's the eastern variety that, that plays dead, right? The Western guys don't do so much of the thing. They do. Dead. I mean, just not as extravagant. Just not as, as often. Like, you'll see them do it more as when they're babies, like fresh out of the egg. But once they get older, now they're just going to be doing the the flake, the fake bluff strikes at you. Like, their mouth will be closed and they'll just hit you with the front part of their nose. Yeah, that's what I was telling Hillary too, because she was like, she's like, we pr you promised no venomous snakes ever. And I was like, I. Let me give you the facts and I think you'll make an exception and I've always just thought that hognose snakes were so Like if, if a snake was adorable, which to most of us snake keepers we, Most of us consider snakes to be adorable, but the rest of the world not so much even my my sister-in-law Sarah who is completely not into snakes like she's just like uh, I only ever look at them because I, I look at your feet and I like to see the kids and then sometimes I have to see snakes to see the kids and I was like yeah, I know 
But I showed her a picture of this snake and she was like, oh, the, the nose is kind of cute. And I was like, yes, exactly, exactly. It's a cute snake. I'll show you something cute. Matt's gonna show us something cute. All right, you wanna see cute, check this out, guys. You got some, what's going on here? You got some purple snows? Yeah. No way. Those are purple line snows. Purple snow hog nose. You guys that know hog nose, but I don't know hog nose that well. Like morphs and stuff, I'd really, I really, I know nothing. But I think, I mean, that's a pretty big deal, right? That's a good deal. Oh, Bob, it's a little out of the egg. <laughs> Cute face. Who couldn't love a hog nose snake? Come on, Sarah, take a look here. Take a good look. So, if you guys are looking for baby hog nose snakes, or even you got, have other snakes that are not babies, this is where I always send people looking for hog nose snakes. If you guys are looking for a hog nose snake, you can come check out Matt. I trust him, I care about him, he's a good guy, so uh, he's the guy to go to. Thank you, sir. I've said that before he gave me a snake too that I had to pay $8,000 <laughs> for. <laughs> <laughs> now I know I can count on you guys to help me come up with a name for this girl because I don't have one yet But if you have any ideas, please shoot them down below and I will take them all into consideration. Thank you very much. We are gonna go shopping for some whiskey Bye Where you going, T? Wait for me, T. Where you going, T? You going in the hole with me? Oh, you going in the hole, T. Look. Come sit in the hole with me. Oh, we're in the hole now, T. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? I'm in the hole with my T. The hole with me. Whoa, it's a big hole, huh? Hanging out with my T. Hey, T. Hey, T. I love hanging out on the beach with you, T. Do you love hanging out on the beach with you? What's that? It's a big hole in the sand, T. You love hanging out with daddy on the beach? I love hanging out on the beach with you, T. It's my favorite. I love it so much.